Okay, this is our primary trainer. Uh, 70541 is a Cessna 172K. It's a low time airframe. Uh, it's a low time engine. It's in great condition. And we've highly modified the avionics to bring it into the 21st century. Uh, Garmin avionics, uh, G5 displays. So it's a great instrument trainer and it's a great primary trainer too. So let me show you the inside of the airplane. All right, we've got the master switch on. You can hear the turn coordinator spooling up. You can also see the uh, number one Garmin G5 uh, waking itself up there. And I'm gonna bring on the avionics master switch. When the avionics master switch comes on, you're gonna see the second Garmin G5 start to um, uh, boot itself up. And you're also gonna see the uh, Garmin GTN 650. When this airplane uh, came out of the factory, obviously it didn't have this um, level of avionics in it. It was essentially a steam gauge airplane. Nothing wrong with that, but the industry has largely moved beyond that and we're trying to uh, have a trainer that will train people and prepare people to fly what's uh, state of the art in, in today's world. start checklist. Alright. Seats, belts, and harnesses. Alright, so I'm good. Secure and secure and locked. Fuel, Fuel selector. Both. It's on both. Okay. Breakers normal. Alright, so we got all the breakers in front of you here. They're all in and normal. Okay. Uh brakes. Alright, so I always set the brakes, but we back it up with our toes. So we put our feet on the toes, set the brakes, and then in between here, we turn down and pull it out. Just pull it all the way up. Good. Okay, is that the parking brake? Yep. Okay. Radio master switch is off. Alright, we've got the radio master switch here. We just make sure that's off. Okay, and the beacon switch is on. Alright, so we've got all our lights here. We just, with first okay. start, we have the beacon on. Okay. Alright, turn the page, I guess, huh? Yep. Alright, mixture rich. Alright, so mixture's here. Okay. We want to go full rich, so we push that in. Carp heat. Alright, so carp heat's here. Alright. Cold. Throttle open an eighth of an inch. Alright, so throttle will come open an eighth. Okay. Uh, prime. Primer's over here on your side. We'll do one shot of primer. Like okay. so and make sure it's locked. Okay. And then master switch turn on. So okay. you said that. So was the master there. switch is right there. Um, flaps up. So we just double check the flaps are up. And they okay. are. Um, propeller area is clear. There's nobody around. Yep. So no we, that's why we, coming through. That's why we put the flaps up too. So we make sure we can see behind us. You know, there's a lot of people walking around on the taxiways. So we put the flaps up to double check to make sure there's no one coming up from behind us. Okay. Brakes. All right. So we're holding the brakes. Ignition switch start. All right. So right here is our ignition switch. Okay. Turned all the way to start until it starts. Okay. Ready. Ready. Clear. And radio master is on. Oh. oh, we can talk now. All right. Okay, mixture as required. Do you still do it full rich or? No, I just leaned it out for taxi. Okay. Okay, the AWOS. Lloyd Stearman Field Airport. Automated weather observation. One, three, five, zero, Zulu weather. Wind, one, eight, zero, at Niner. Gust, one, five, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, three, dew point, one, one, altimeter, three, zero, two, two. All right, so we got three, zero, two, two, so we're going to set that here for our okay. altimeter setting. I got the rest of the weather, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay. All right. And so you set the altimeter. 
Helicopter 911 Gulf X ray will be clocked as the sensor. FMS is our GPS here. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and get that started. It's checking the databases and stuff, making sure we've got okay. um, what we need to have. And flight instruments checked. All right, so flight instruments, we're just making sure that everything's set and act, you know, operating normally. So our airspeed is zero, our gyro, or you know, EHSI and stuff is is correct. Okay. We're within 75 feet on our altimeter. We'll, okay. You know, we check to make sure this turns in the taxi, and that'll turn in the right direction of the turn. Okay. So once we start moving, we'll check the rest of the stuff. All right. An airport diagram. Yeah, so that's going to be right on the next page. Oh, okay. So we'll just have that out as we taxi. All right. If we weren't at Stearman, we'd have to have it on our iPad. Yeah. So, But we're at Stearman today, so we're going to have that out, and we're going to taxi down and do a run-up down at the other end. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right, go ahead and release the parking brake. Just turn it to the left and slide it forward. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to have one hand on the controls here, and I'll have the throttle for now. This is the first lesson, but we can go ahead and release your brakes there. Okay. And we'll just keep our toes kind of down, slide them back and down. Okay. Good. And you see as you release the brakes, we start moving here. And once we get out on the runway, I'll help you, but we'll we'll do a little taxi practice. Ooh. <laughs> so to turn right, we just add a little bit of right pressure, right? So a little bit oh, on the okay. right. Okay, okay. So we're going to turn left onto this taxiway right here. Now I'm just going to help us turn to onto this taxiway here. We're going to hold short for landing traffic. Nice Columbia. It's a real nice plane. Somebody else coming in? Yeah. Oh, I see him. I'm not sure if he's going to be landing on the grass runway or on the... There were traffic. All right, so he said they're in the grass, so I'm going to call for a back taxi. So we'll just make sure, but we're going to start a pull out here. Stearman traffic, Scott 70541, so back taxi and runway 17, Stearman. Stearman traffic, Columbia 4 and Papa Delta is a clear 17, Stearman traffic. All right, so it looks like he's going to be in the grass, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh. So as we line up here on center line, I'm going to pull the power back to about 1300 RPMs. And I want you to just kind of get the feel for trying to stay on center line. Yep. Trying to push the wrong foot down. <laughs> yeah, so give it a little bit of right rudder to start that right turn. And when you want to stop, just add a little bit of left rudder. You think almost pressure, not a full input, right? Yeah. It's almost, think of a dance. And then think, you know, trying to keep it on that, that dance. Very good. And we're going to do a run-up. Okay. So let's go back into our checklist. Okay, uh, flight controls, free and correct. Okay, so we want to check the flight controls. So what I do is I go all the way to the left, and I look at there, and we, thumbs should point to our up aileron. Okay. And it's up, right? Uh-huh. The next thing I do is I pull all the way back, so watch yourself here, and I look over my shoulder and make sure my elevator, other shoulder, is easier to see over this okay. shoulder. And we look and we see that that's all the way up. Okay. And then I go all the way this way, and thumbs again should point to our up aileron. Okay. And then all the way forward, and it's all the way down. Okay. And then back to neutral. All right. So our controls are free, correct? Uh, and then our rudder to make sure that it's not locked up and it's turning left is left, right is right. Okay. And they're free and correct. All right. So now the fuel selectors on both. Yep. Trim is set. So trim is in our 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 middle okay. fuel selector spot, or trim selected spot. Uh, throttle max power. All right, so we'll set, we're gonna reset the, the mixture to full range okay. when we do this. So we, in this plane, we always use, we always lean for density altitude. Okay. And it, it just gives us the best performance on any given day. So if it's above 50, which it is, we're gonna go full power. We're gonna lean so we see a slight decrease in RPM right there. As peak, we're gonna go four half turn above peak, and then we're gonna bring it back to 1700. Okay. And then. Okay. Uh, carb heat. 
Okay, so go ahead and pull the carpy, just pull it out. And we should see about a 25 RPM decrease. I don't know if I did, I pulled it, did. it up. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so I push it back in yep. now. Okay. back in. Good. And then the mags. So our mags are over here. We want to check for about a 100 RPM decrease. And they should be equal, and they are. Okay, and throttle, is it idle? All right, so go ahead and bring the throttle to idle. We want to check that the engine's not going to you choke out. Oh, okay, okay. Alternator check. All right, so we're positive and charging. Okay, instrument, emergency batteries. All right, so we make sure that these are actually getting power. And there's, you can see it's charging. Okay. And it's charging, and they're both at 100%. Okay. Um, instrument indications. All right, so instruments are all set. Okay. Uh, at this point, this is where I'll set up my GPS because it's had time to find our location. So okay. Um, if we're going somewhere, we would set up the flight plan. But here, I just go to nearest. I want to know, if we're going to the practice area, I want to know how far away from the airport I am. So I'll just go to nearest, and that's us here at 1K1. Okay. And then it tells us how far away we are from the airport. Okay. Transponder? Is yeah, we just make sure we're squawking 1200. Okay. And doors and windows. All right, so at this point, I'll get my door for takeoff. So we just read the, through this checklist, yeah. and then we'll stow it and do it. Okay. Flaps need to be set at 10. So we'll do zero uh, for a normal takeoff from okay. here. Uh, car peaks cold. All right, and power's full throttle. And rotate at 55 to 60, and climb speed is 70 or 80. Okay. All that sounds good, so we'll do that. Everything's set up the way we want it. We'll stow the checklist, Okay. and we'll do it. All right, you ready? Go ahead and release the brake. Steerman traffic, Scott 70541 is going to be departing runway 17. Steerman traffic. I'm just trying to get us turned so we can get a visual without pulling out too far here. So I'm checking all the traffic areas. Okay. And we're clear. All right, so go ahead. You can assist with the takeoff. So we'll have one hand on on your control like this. Okay. And I'll I'll, I'll do the power. So we'll line up on center line. Heels back, toes off the brakes. Good. Okay. And we're going to go full power. And I always check gauges are green. Air speed's alive. And we're holding runway center line. Okay, and there is 60. Go ahead and start pulling back with me. Pull, pull, pull. There we go. Off the ground. Give us just a little bit of nose up trim. Awesome. Bumps. Yeah, it'll clear up as we get up at altitude. A little bit of mechanical turbulence down low. All right, we're going to start a nice and gentle turn to the right here. Steer for traffic stock, 541s, right crosswind, 17 steer. Okay, we're going to start that downwind turn now. So we look for traffic. Steer for traffic stock, 541s, right downwind, 17 steer. Nice and smooth. Beautiful morning to fly. A bit hazy, but... So how high will we climb? We're going to be going up to 3,500 feet. Okay. For the practice area. Scraper traffic sucks. 70541 is the part of the pattern to the north. Straight up. Scraper. You're doing great. Am I doing this? <laughs> I thought you were still controlling some. I'm not doing anything. We're about 500 feet from level off. At this point, we can pull our checklist back out. We're going to do a climb check. Okay. And I'll help you with that here. So we did the takeoff. We want to look at climb. So we got flaps are up, air speeds 80 to 90, and mixture. We got it set where we want it for right now. The climb, the climb checklist is complete. All right, so we're going to start our level out. So we're going to add some forward pressure. So go ahead okay. and give it some forward pressure. Lower that pitch at you. At the same time, I'm going to help you. I'm going to bring the power back to about 2,400 RPMs over here. And then you can see if I let go, the nose is going to want to come back up. So keep that forward pressure. Go ahead okay. and push forward just a little bit. So we're kind of following this road. Yeah, that's what I was trying to kind yeah. of stay no, this on is, it. This is yeah. perfect. So following this road, I want to show you kind of what the flight controls do, right? Okay. So you got the rudders down here. Uh huh. I want you to add just a little bit of right pressure. The nose is going to want to turn to the right. Okay. It might be a little uncomfortable, but you see how the nose uh -huh. will yaw to the right. So that will add do the same thing to the left. Okay. You see how it's got a rolling kind yeah. of yawing tendency, right? So go ahead and correct it with a little bit of right rudder. We'll kind of come back. We'll, to, we'll kind of just follow the road using that rudder. 
Traffic? Yeah, I got him in sight. Okay. As long as he kind of stays where he's at. All right, so we're back to the road. We're following traffic is gone, so we're um, following this road. So we we figured out that we can kind of hold a heading with our rudder, right? We don't even if these got locked up in an emergency situation, we could kind of still steer where we're going. That's what I was trying to show you, right? Okay. So the next thing is is holding our, a pitch attitude. Okay. So being able to picture, you know, the horizon to how much ground we have between the cowl and the okay. horizon, right? So, you know, if I bring it up just a little bit and it gets smaller, uh -huh. if I bring it back down, we get a level amount, right? So I just want you to, to, realize, to picture that and, uh, and just try and hold that. Okay. It's, instead of looking at... Instead uh, of looking inside, <laughs> right? We're trying to develop a VFR pilot okay. as compared to, you know, keeping your eyes outside. We're looking for traffic. We're looking at what, you know, we want to see outside the plane. Visual okay. references. You can use your wingtips too. So if you see how much ground to wing you have out here versus how much over here, it should be kind of level, right? So if I do, you know, a little bit of turn, it gets more, less, or vice versa, right? So you can use your wingtips as reference. You're, you know, you're using all your surroundings to kind okay. of hold a, a level flight attitude. So you're doing great. Why don't we introduce some nice and gentle turns? Okay. So. You can pick which direction where, you know, we clear the area right ahead and left. Okay. And why don't you just give us a turn. You pick either direction. We'll just do a nice and gentle turn. Okay. I'm going left because I'm more comfortable. I feel like I can see the left a little better. I agree. So, so do I just do pressure with the rudders or do I turn um, a little above? As you turn to the left, you'll add just a little bit of left rudder. Okay. So don't pull back too much. See how the ground yeah, is getting I just thought, so Yeah. You will have to add some back pressure as you roll into that turn to keep us level. Now, this is really nice. You're keeping that same sight picture. Yeah. You can see your nose climbing. Is, is that a little bit? Yeah. yeah. And it, it's all, it's as good or you know better than what we have in here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because I do. You I have to it, look. Yeah, you, you know. Can see, you can see very small changes. Yeah. You know, if your nose is climbing or descending, it, it's, so go ahead and turn us back towards the right. really good. Why don't we try and do some climbs and descents? Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to gently bring some back pressure in until we hit about 80 miles an hour. Okay. So go ahead and add some back pressure. The speed will slowly bleed off. And at the same time, go ahead and add full power. So all the way in for the climb. I want to keep it, you know, if you look in here, about 8 degrees. Okay. Look outside. You can kind of you level still... the cowl with the horizon. Okay. Give you about 80 miles an hour. You see how if you don't use that rudder, we kind of want to turn left. Yeah. So that's the torque of the engine. So left turning tendencies. Yeah. So we add just a little bit of right rudder to keep us on okay. our head. Yep. And even though I'm climbing to keep that like eight percent, I should still see the horizon. Correct. Yeah. Or? Your your okay. cowl should just be right, almost level with that horizon to give you a good. Okay. Um, we use the term BY, but your best uh, rate of climb. Okay. I, no, I just want to... <laughs> yeah, the visibility is not the greatest up here today. So we can go ahead and uh, we'll level off here. I know we're not at an even altitude, but we'll level off here and we'll turn right or left. We're going to start that, that constant speed like we were doing at 80 okay. in, a, in a descent. Oh, am I descending now? Or? Well, we're going to hold our altitude here okay. until we get headed back towards the south. Okay. Got Newton over there about eight miles away. Okay, keep that left turn in. Head down oh, okay, the we're south. going back to the south? Yep. Okay. This is kind of what, you know, we come out here over the, you know, the fields of Kansas to practice maneuvers, so we don't want to do them over the city. Not much out here. But you spend a lot of time in the practice area. You know. There's just a lot to think about, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. It's not difficult. It's just uh, takes a little practice to get used to. Yeah. All the inputs, I guess. Sure, absolutely. So now what I want to what I'm going to do is we're going to start that constant speed descent. So okay. I want you to lower the nose, 
by reducing the power to about, oh, we'll say about 2,000 RPM. So go ahead and bring the, bring the throttle back until the needle hits the, the 2,000 mark. Slowly bring it out. Where are we going? You said 2,000? Yep, so a little bit more. So we should be able to you know, pretty much hold our airspeed, but we started the descent. Okay. And the nose will automatically come down as you bring that throttle out. Did you notice that? I did, yeah. yeah. So you bring the power back, the nose will automatically want to drop a little bit, and we start that descent. And if we let it come down too much, we'll increase our airspeed. If we don't want to increase our airspeed, we just gently add a little bit of back pressure. Okay. And we trim for what speed we want. Okay. At this point, that's too many things to think of at one time. <laughs> Yeah. So we're going to level off at about 35, yeah, like we'll we were back, before? we'll go back okay. down to 35. So what do we want our airspeed to stay at, you said? Well, we were aiming for, you know, about 100 miles an hour. Oh. Uh, if you let the nose drop more, it'll increase. It, it's... You just uh, don't descend as fast to keep it lower, right? Right, you would bring that nose up, which would slow our rate of descent. To okay. Keep, to keep the same airspeed. All right, so here we are reaching 35. So what we want to do is add that power back in. Okay. So I'm going to bring it back into about 2,400 RPMs. Okay. Which stops the descent. Okay. I can fly straight. <laughs> You're doing great. What do you think? This is really great. It, it makes me just a little bit nervous because there's a lot of things to think about, but you know. Yeah, and it all comes it at you. Comes, it, it comes really fast at the beginning, but you know, in even just four to five hours, this stuff almost comes naturally to you. That's what I was thinking, because, you know, you don't get in a car the first time and drive it. Yeah, know? exactly. So. Yeah. So in just a few hours, a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you now is just, you know, a, a natural, okay, this is what we do. Um, and in as little as 10 to 12 hours, you can be flying the plane by yourself as solo. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It does, even from the... Uh, on the way out, it feels like it's a little easier. I, my legs aren't as tense, you yeah. know, and you kind of can relax and enjoy just a little bit. So yeah. So is there anything that you would like to do before we head back and do a landing? I don't guess so. Is there anything else that's kind of? So sometimes, you know, on the first introductory, I don't usually um, show, um, you know, like check ride maneuvers. Um, if you want, we can try, you know, maybe a steep turn or... Yeah, let me try a steep turn. Okay. Let me try one. Okay, so... So the way we do this is typically we're going about, a, you know, 90 to 100 miles an hour. Uh-huh. So our speed is perfect. Um, and before we do the steep turn, we'll do our clearing turns. Okay. So we have to clear the area, make sure there's no traffic. So we'll do two 90-degree turns or a 180-degree turn to clear the area. Okay. So the clearing turn typically looks, you know, like a 30 degree bank. You want to show people your wing. Okay. And you want to look, you know, be looking outside for other traffic. Okay. So we'll do that first. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to roll into a left okay. 100, 180 degree turn. So how many degrees is that about? So we're right at 30 degrees. Okay. And for our steep turn, we'll roll into a 45 degree bank. Okay. So now, what we want to do is typically I'll demo it first. Okay. So I'll do one to the left, and then okay. you can do one to the left. All right. So what I want to do is, as I roll in, I'm just going to add just a touch of power, about 50 to 75 RPMs. Okay. And I'm going to roll it, this little carrot here all the way all over the way. to the 45 degree okay. mark. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of back pressure to hold our okay. hold the level at too. We can cross check that by looking down here to see if we're de descending or climbing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to roll in. Here's our power. We're going to roll in. I add a little bit of left rudder. We'll go all the way to the 45 degree mark. We can look outside and see you know, with the horizon that we're not climbing or descending. You can kind of see the 45 degrees on the horizon, Yeah, too. so where the horizon slices through our cowl yeah. gives you an idea of exactly, if, you know, we're staying level. So we just look outside and kind of judge, you know, are we climbing, are we descending? And we anticipate the rollout at the same time. 
reducing that power Take that we put power. back in, yeah. Okay. You ready? Okay. Should I do the throttle too? Sure. Alright. So add just a little bit. Okay. And then roll into that bank. Adding a little bit of left rudder. And then as you roll, keep rolling in, we add that back pressure. Hold it off. Okay. More back pressure. We're about 40 degrees. And see how over bank he wants to roll you in? Uh huh. So we do let, really let the nose drop as we roll out. Okay, and I'm going to reduce. Oh, I'm giving it power instead of reduce it. Good. All right. We roll out. What you think? It's a little dizzy. <laughs> So the, for the first but, time, it's like, it's like, wow, okay. And then we work on it, work on it, perfect it. And then that's what an examiner ultimately in our check ride is one of the maneuvers you get evaluated yeah. on. It's developing a mastery of the controls. Do you very often turn 45 to, at, or do you usually more uh, like that 30 degrees you were talking about? Or? I like to stay inside the 30 degrees or something that says you have to. Yeah. Um, it's come passenger comfort. Right? Ah, right. So, right. Uh, let's go ahead and head back towards um, the airport. So we'll do a 180 degree turn to the either direction. Ah, uh, we'll go this way. Sure. We'll head back and uh, we'll demo demonstrate a landing for you. All right. You know that's my big fear is the whole landing thing. And you can practice the straight and level. Okay. I tend to want to keep that nose up instead of just letting it. But you've got it trimmed out, so I should just pretty much be able to relax it, right? Uh, yeah, in theory. Um, and you can double check that by just kind of letting go of the controls and seeing what the plane wants to do. And it should fairly well hold. Yeah, it is, yeah. Hold that altitude. If you notice the nose comes down just a little bit, um, you can add just a little bit of trim. Okay. And the nose came back up a little. Yeah. Yeah, and new students have a tendency to really grip on the controls. I, know. I see what, you, what you're doing over here is a really nice light grip. And that's that's really great. Um, you don't want to over control, and a, a firm grip on the controls will inevitably do that. So you know, I, I like to fly with you know almost two fingers, a thumb uh -huh. and a pointer, and just very gently make. You know, small corrections. You know, as you're driving, you don't even realize you're doing the small. You're doing corrections. the small corrections. It's the same thing in flight. You know, it's just small pitch and roll changes keep you on your heading. Yeah. Maybe you should do this when you're first when you first learn to drive, so you're familiar with that whole concept of. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm actually going to look around and enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, this is that's you, that's the whole the whole point of flying, right? Is to be able to get out here and enjoy the view. It is a beautiful morning in Kansas. You can just barely see El Dorado Lake out there. Oh, okay, yeah. Normally you can really see it a long way away. Yeah, but from here you should be able to see the whole thing, but the visibility today is a little bit on the low side, so you can just barely see it. It's really neat to see all the little small towns. Yeah. All along. There's a green elevator and... Yeah, I love flying out here. Yeah, the, uh, Kansas has a beauty of its own. It kind of takes you a while. When we moved here, it took a while to kind of appreciate the the beauty. I still need to relax my legs. My legs are going to be cramped up. Um, <laughs> this is good practice, though, of just trying to stay yeah. and relaxing and trying to look out. and Just enjoy the plane ride. Yeah. And I'm not doing anything. My feet aren't even on the rudders. Oh, well, <laughs> good deal. I'm not quite following the road. <laughs> You're doing great. We're a little bit, uh, we're about eight miles away. We want to get down to pattern altitude. Okay. So we'll descend down to about 2,300 feet. Okay. The airport is right. You can just start to see the hangars. That's usually what I look for first, is I don't look for the runway. I look for hangars. Uh-huh. The hangars are usually the easiest thing to see. Steerman traffic, sky 7051 is seven miles to the north, straight at 17 Steerman. Go ahead and get the weather as we come back in, and we can run a descent checklist here. Okay. Field selectors still on both. It is. 
fixture rich. So we got it. We never really uh, went up to altitude, had to re lean. Okay. Um, so we're going to leave it where it's set for best power. Okay. Uh, power as required. You've already adjusted the power. Yep. Carb heat and Carb. we. We don't want it on yet. Right. So we're going to leave it there. Um, if we bring the power below this green arc, we have to bring the carb heat on. Okay. All right, so that's descent checklist there. So a little bit of a left turn. Automated weather observation. One, four, three, three. Zulu weather. Wind, one, six, zero. At eight gust, one, seven. Visibility, one, zero. Clear below. A little bit gusty today. Been nice all week, and then we get winds today. <laughs> yeah. Steamer traffic, Scott, 705, five miles, North Street, and 17 Steerman. All right, so you got the runway in sight, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So we'll start a little bit of a right turn, keep us kind of lined up with the runway here. This looks pretty good. Let me give this back to you. We can run the before landing checklist. Okay, mixture is set. So we're going to leave it set for best power. Carb heat should be on All now. Alright, so go ahead and bring the carb heat on. Yep, there you go. And flaps are... We don't have flaps in yet. We're not quite yet below our flap speed. Okay. Um, at about two miles, I'm going to start configuring for landing. Okay. And airspeed should be... Airspeed 70 to 80. Okay. So we're fast, huh? Yep. So, that's okay, we're, we're coming straight in. Okay. Typically on the downwind, you start you know, configuring as you're coming down in around. But okay. on a straight in uh, approach, we're gonna configure about two miles away. Okay. So I'm gonna start to bring the power back to about 1700 RPMs. Okay. And speed checks. Okay. Let me bring flaps 10 in, 10 degrees of flaps. So we're gonna let that nose come down just a little bit. And see, we kept, we blood that airspeed off yeah. fairly quickly, you know, bringing the power back. And we'll start a nice and gentle descent down to the runway. Okay. Very controlled. And we'll just try and hold about 80 miles an hour. Okay. Steamer traffic sign says 0541, steam mile final 17 steerman. All right, lights are on. And before landing checklist is complete. Okay. Why do I think the runway is over here? And well, it's kind of a, a visual trick. Okay. So what I do is I use the runway the center line. Okay. And you can try and line that up with your inside shoulder. Okay. So we might be just a little bit to the right of it. Yeah. Um, just a hair low. So we add power to keep us up okay. from descending too quickly. Okay. Um, but if you can line that up, that, that center line with your inside shoulder, kind of picture that, it should keep you right on center line. Okay. There's a couple of bumps as we come down. Yeah, here. I'm just, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like we're headed for the grass. Well, we're know. not. Um, okay. The, the trick is, is that the, the wind is right not, right down, directly down the runway, so okay. the plane will crab a little bit. Okay. Juliet back taxi one seven Yeah, it's a little bit, a little That's bit windy, a little bit gusty. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. The wind's not directly down the runway, so when we're coming in, you're like, well, it looks like we're headed for the grass because the plane is tracking ahead. Uh, it's okay. tracking the the direction. Um, we're flying straight, but the plane is actually crooked a little bit. Yeah. And that's normal. Okay. <laughs> so well, anyway. yeah. Let you get it. I'm just going to get us turned around here and we'll back taxi towards the, uh, the hangar. Yeah, I felt totally out of control with the landing part. I was like, I don't know how to how to make it do what it needs to do. And that comes with, you know, practice. And like I said, even within uh, 10 hours, students usually progress to the point if they fly regularly that they can solo with, you know, 10, 12 hours. Yeah. So, 
perfectly uh, perfectly normal to be a little bit overwhelmed on a, a, a first landing. Yeah. Um, that's why I always help. Steamer traffic, South 541, departing runway 17, steer. Gages are green, and air speed's alive. Hold the runway center line. He's just gonna stay in the pattern and go around. Yeah. yeah. Steamer traffic, Scott 541s, turn it down, wind 17, Steamer. Steamer traffic, Scott 7041s, right base, 17, Steamer. Right there is about the sheer line, 2,000 feet. It's pretty normal. It's smooth above it, bumpy pull up. Uh huh. Steamer traffic, Scott 541s, final 17, Steamer. Wasn't quite as gusty that landing. It, yeah, it picks up. So you get, you know, you, you're trying to come over the runway when you're getting the gust. It's not. Yeah, the eight knot headwind instead of the the gust. Yeah, a lot easier. I was watching the the uh, flag as you came in. It yeah. looked like it wasn't as bad. Yeah, it was staying pretty much straight, varying just a touch. So nice that you have a taxiway right here. Makes for you know quick or yeah. short taxi out. Steamer traffic, Scott, 541, clear 17, steer. All right, steering checklist. Okay. Put down, so throttle. Throttle's idle. I set it to a thousand. Okay. And then radio master is right here. And then the mags to off. The key to off, it's perfect. And then the master off. off. Lights off. We'll just turn the landing light off. We leave the beacon on. Okay, lights off, lock, so you put the... We don't, because we're going to put it right in the hangar. Okay, and chocks and light off. Excellent. All right. All right. Well done. I'm sure you're hooked. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, uh... It is a lot of fun. It's just the whole... I really do want to learn to land. You know, I just, I've got to get over that fear of... Yeah. Ah! Oh, it's a lot of fun!